Howdy folks, Spencer here, and today I want to talk to you about the latest batch of news for STO on both PC and console. As always, chapters are listed down below. The first thing I want to talk about today is that the flashback bundle will be going live on PC just a couple hours after this video goes live. And I did do a bundle breakdown video the other day, if you want to learn more about the bundle. And as I talked about at the end of that video, I will be doing a live stream shortly after the, the bundle goes live. And I'm explicitly going to be focusing on the cruiser and escort in that live stream. I'm just going to use T6 coupons to get them. I'm not buying the bundle, so I'm not going to be able to tell you anything about the uniforms or the ground weapons. Um, I'm just going to use those coupons, get those two ships. For the science ship, there's a ton of people over in the builds discord that are going to be picking that up and talking about it in the, the EPG category over there. If they say it's good, I'll pick it up and talk about it another day. If they say it's bad, you know, I don't want to waste a T6 coupon on it. So that is, that is the plan for the live stream is to focus on the cruiser and the escort, which are the two ships that realistically are going to be the ones most people want to, you know, learn about anyways. Now, um, on the topic of Discord, I do just want to quickly note that I did just start up some T6 coupon giveaways on both my Discord and the Builds Discord. The T6 coupon giveaway on my Discord, the, the Casual Sab one, um, both Discords are linked in the description down below if you're not on them. But on the Casual Sab Discord, go to the Giveaways channel and hit this blue button here. This is a T6 coupon for PC only, and this was donated by Frank. So again, thank you to Frank for donating this coupon and a, another one for a prior giveaway. And that is going to be running for nine to 10 days. It ends on August 5th. And over on the Builds Discord, we do have another coupon being given away. Uh, it's all, again, it, it's PC only but you're gonna have a longer duration to go in and enter for that, that giveaway. It's gonna be running for most of the, the month of August. So that will be drawn on August 26th. That is PC only. And all you have to do there is join the Builds Discord, go to the giveaways channel and hit this blue button at the, the bottom of that giveaway and you'll be entered for a chance to win. Next up are the PC patch notes, and the first thing here is an update to the exchange. So now, after this patch, when you have a sale happen on the exchange, the energy credits will be directly deposited onto your character if the EC that you get from that sale doesn't put you over the 2 billion cap. If the EC from that sale would push you over that cap, it will send the EC to you in the mail and you won't be able to claim it until you have enough room to, to not go over the cap. So that's a good change there. That addresses the seller side of the update that they did a while back, um, but there is still a need for them to go through and address the, the, the purchaser side, the, the buyer side of that update, because that experience right now is just, honestly, it's, it's quite garbage. Um, again, for those of you not familiar with what they did, before Unraveled went live, when you bought something off the exchange, it would directly deposit it into your inventory. After the, the change that they rolled out a couple months ago, every single purchase is now mailed to you. And the issue is, is that there's no take all button and you're going to run into quite a few ex you know instances while using the exchange where there aren't stacks of things sometimes you might be lucky and there might be a stack of the thing you're trying to purchase but sometimes you might have to buy them one by one or maybe the items you're buying don't stack so if you're in an instance or a scenario where you're needing to to buy a lot of things one by one you have to click each of the, the purchase mails and go and hit the take item button. There is no way to, to go in and hit the checkbox to claim items, you know, from all these, these exchange purchase mails. So it's, it's quite a bit of a pain and they've addressed the seller side with this update. Now we need them to go in and address the, the buyer side because it's just a really painful experience. Now, 
The next thing on the patch notes are that the advanced photon torpedoes from the Discovery Connie, Discovery D7, and legendary Discovery Connie can now be upgraded and re-engineered. And if you discarded them, you can you can reclaim them from the Dilithium store so long as you have one of those three ships currently commissioned on your ship roster. So can't have it in the dry dock, needs to actually be on your ship roster in order to be reclaimed. Um, these advanced photons, from what I remember, they're basically just a different visual of the normal photons. But if you, you know, if you were really wanting those visuals, at least they're now an option for you. Next up are some changes to some consoles that have been nerfed in the past couple of years. So the first one here is the Tholian Web Spinner Array. This is from an event back in 2021, and it got quite a bit of a nerf, I believe, last year. And one of the issues with this console is that the, the passive on it has basically never worked, and it looks like they're trying to address that here. And the other thing that they're doing for it is they're improving the, the way that Aux Power scales up its effects. So the Tholian Web Spinner Array was neat when, when it was first introduced, but they nerfed it really hard about a year or so back. And after that nerf, it lost like 80% of its damage. So um, hopefully, you know, it's back to a more usable state with this change. As always, you know, wait and see, you know, what people say. The other change that they have here for a console is for the Agony Redistributor. So the Agony Redistributor was the central focus of the nerfs that happened last year because it was quite a bit overpowered and had some buggy interactions. They have now changed it so that it no longer has a hard cap on store damage. Rather, the effect of the, the console will reduce as you go past the, the limit. So we'll have to wait and see how this performs, but I am glad that they are going back through and trying to make these things that were previously nerfed, um, you know, make them a bit more usable. And it gives me hope that the, the Maelstrom, you know, will be tuned back to a state where it's more satisfactory and funner to, to use for those of us that, you know, were a big fan of it. Next up is that they resolved an issue which caused some VOD War NPCs to appear as support drones. Really notable in all the uh, the Delta content and especially over on Kabali. So many of those things flying around. Hopefully this finally sorts that out. And then the last two things are some fixes for the Theseus, if that is something you care about. And I don't think many of you care about the Theseus, so let's move on. And for those of us on PC, we have a double experience event running from Thursday, July 27th, all the way up through August 10th. So that's a pretty long double XP event. And if you have any characters you're trying to level up, or if you have any research assignments you're wanting to use, definitely a good time to, to go through and take advantage of this event. And for those of us on PC, we also have a Phoenix prize pack event starting up today that will be running through August 3rd. And as you, as usual, you can go through and pick up a free Phoenix pack each day from the NPC on Deep Space Nine right outside Quarks or through an NPC over on Drozana. And this also means that the T6X experimental ship upgrade tokens will be available in the Phoenix store again. So if you're needing to stock up, remember, it is much more efficient for you to go through. And if you're wanting to get a bunch of T6X tokens, you put 20 bucks in, convert it to Dill, rip open a bunch of Phoenix packs, and then convert the Phoenix tokens over to the ship upgrade tokens here. And you'll get a lot more for your money than you would if you just directly bought those from the, the C store. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, I don't think there's anything else that's like new here for the, the Phoenix. Looks like it's pretty much the same items as last time. So a really big thing is here, you know, take advantage of the the ship experimental upgrade tokens that'll be available there. And if you're needing to stock up on upgrades, good time to do so. Keep in mind that these Phoenix prize pack events are often followed up by an upgrade week 
the the following week or the week after that so stock up on upgrades now and then wait for the upgrade event which will probably be happening early in august heading over to the console side of things for those of you on console you guys have a temporal recruit event starting up on august 1st and running through august 22nd the temporal recruits are very much worth making they have some of the best recruit unlocks out of all of the recruits that you can make so I would highly recommend you take advantage of it. I have a video going over the rewards of making a temporal recruit, which I will have linked down below. Definitely check it out if you have never made a temporal recruit character. And for those of you on console, you guys have a, or you have the, the next event in the year long event campaign starting up here on August 1st, running through August 22nd. And this is the flagship celebration event. The cues that will work for this are Borg Disconnected, Upiter Radis, Swarm, and Synthwave. The rewards for this specific event are the Beverly Crusher Bridge Officer and the Flagship Distress Frequency Device. Now, the Beverly Crusher Bridge Officer really isn't that good. Um, she has some really long cooldowns on her effects, and I can show you this real quick traits so the the trait she has is a lot's happened in the last 20 years and the issue is is that the cooldown reduction part of it um, which is triggered when you hit a beam or torpedo firing mode is only going to give you a buff for five seconds but it can only be activated once every 30 seconds so it's it's a basically a a mini photonic officer for five seconds with a 30 second cooldown really not that good and the high yield that you can get from hitting a hull or shield repair bridge officer ability it, that has a 45 second lockout so you know if you really want beverly crusher on your bridge officer then here you go but uh realistically for like min max purposes anything like that like if you're just you know wanting to make sure your build's performing well there's absolutely no reason you would run the Beverly Crusher Bridge Officer over a Superior Romulan Operative or a Watcher Bridge Officer. The trait she has just is not good enough. Now for the flagship uh, frequency device, what I'm curious about is if that's going to launch in the bug state that it was on PC. On PC, um, you could use it to, to keep spawning in loads and loads of the, the faction flagships in in like social maps and i wonder if that's gonna launch in the same state over on console but that device is neat um nothing really crazy but it basically just makes it so your fleet support summons in the flagship of your of your faction for 45 seconds so you, you may enjoy it if you actively use fleet support a lot but neither of these rewards are really anything that special in my opinion the big thing is, is that this is an event that gets you progress towards the, the event campaign, which, you know, is very much something that you want to work towards if you are not done with it yet. Now, I do just want to mention, I have had a lot of people asking me, Spencer, you know, where's the event campaign five video um, that is still going to be arriving at some point in the near future. The, the past month, month and a half, I've had a lot of real life things going on and um, just had a very sudden disruption that has clearly impacted my capability to, to work on videos for, for like a month there. So this is a project that I do want to get back to. Um, then this will be out hopefully in the next week or two. The last bit of news for today is that console has a bonus to lithium event. This is running from today through the 31st. So if you have any deal mining claims that you want to go use now would be a good time to do that um or if you have anything you've been waiting to turn in now would be a good time to go through and turn that in and get your bonus to lithium that's going to be it for today again i will be streaming in a couple hours so if you want to see what the flashback escort and cruiser are like i'll be taking a look at those again thank you to all viewers and channel members for the continued support see you guys around